Hey gang, uh, today is uh, February 1st, 2021, and um, a little while ago we got a new donation. Uh, this is something special, we haven't, haven't had this before. It's a uh, red fish, also known as a red drum. And I also, as you can see, I set up a new quarantine and uh, hospital tank. We only had this 120 before. Now we have this uh, 300 gallon, 8 foot by 2.5 foot by 2 foot. Uh, that fish came from uh, from the uh, middle school, Pine Ridge Middle School of Naples, Florida. It's a uh, either genetically selected or genetically modified school. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, fish uh, by the government, and uh, they had a project at the middle school running with. Uh, they got about 20 of them, and this is the last one. They are, it's about four years old. The uh, um, slowest grower, probably the runt of the of the of the clutch. The kids named it uh, Clifford, as in the big red dog. But this is not a dog. This is a big red fish. It's about 20 inches right now, which is uh, pretty small for a four-year-old. Uh, redfish. It's a sport fish in, uh, in southwest Florida and uh, it is protected therefore and uh, we were given a special permission by the government to keep it so we can keep it legally. It lived all its life in marine tank and uh, it's been about three weeks I've been uh, gradually tra transitioning it uh, into my fresh water which is extra hard though because I'm adding uh, raw well water to this to this tank. It's just started feeding uh, little by little. It likes likes massivore. It still ignores my uh, cut herring that I offer it, but it takes massive massivore pellets. And I had to set up a couple of uh, canister filters for this tank, so it has its own filtration. We're gonna go underwater and do some footage underwater. Thank you for watching, guys.